Welcome to Mersin in Tokyo. It is the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final. This is it, the climax of another amazing season. And what a climax it will be with our reigning champions, Venabache, taking on this season's fairy tale team, Vilnuev Dask. Both pushed to the limits in the semi finals against Chukarova and Praha. Praha picking up the third place spot earlier today with a, a comprehensive win over Chukarova. Fenerbahce favourites going into today's game, but I think people have learned not to vote against this French team who are now being introduced to a very partisan crowd here in Mersin. As Villeneuve Dask are introduced to the crowd, they're looking to complete the fairy tale. It's the first time in the club's history they've ever made it to the final four, let alone to the final itself. In fact, it's the first time in 20 years that a French team has made it to the final. They are front page news back in France, and we would love nothing more, I'm sure, than neutral out there to see that completed with the happy ever after ending. Kennedy Burke will play a part for sure in today's game, as will Genelle Salon, two big impact players who had big semi-final performances and will be leaned on heavily again today, that is for sure. And now Fenerbahce will be introduced to the crowd and I'm not going to lie to you, there are thousands and thousands of people here with the blue and yellow stripes of Fenerbahce courtside. They're ready to go. This is almost like a home game for Fenerbahce. That's how they got to this final. And there will be some big performances. There will be some hero performances from one of these teams. Fenerbahce obviously going for back-to-back -back titles. The first time that the uh, Turkish team will ever have done so. Emma Misaman comes on to the floor. The recently announced back-to-back -back EuroLeague Women Regular Season MVP. Also in the team is Yvonne Anderson, who's just joined her teammates on the floor, the Defensive Player of the Year. There's Milic, who put in a, a tough-nosed performance in the semi-final. Kayla McBride now coming to the floor, and what can you say about Kayla McBride? I'm not sure there's enough superlatives to describe how she plays the game. Badia is next out. And Nafisa Collier has made a big impact. At the start of the season, left Fenerbahce came back again. And uh, an important part of their run here in the final fours and likely to be an important part of what they do in this final as well. And finally out, Kitty Alaxa, the lights are back on. The game is almost upon us. Remember, this started... This journey started months and months ago for these two teams. Both of them dreaming of being here. Both of them dreaming of being at the final fours. Both of them dreaming of being 40 minutes away from lifting the trophy. There's the starting five for Villeneuve to ask. Zella, Smalls, Diaby, Burke and Salon. Expect Elio and Manunga to provide a lot off the bench, potentially Lesoa Mbaka as well. Coach Mezia, that is not Coach Mezia, he is there somewhere. He's currently sitting down on the bench. The recently awarded Coach of the Year for EuroLeague women. There he is, an enigmatic leader for this team. and. He dedicated his Coach of the Year award to his team, saying it was for all of them, really, the players, the other coaching staff. He really is an inspirational leader. 
Here are our officials for this evening's game. Ariadna Chueca, Viola Giorgi and Gvidis Kidvilas. They are ready to go, as are we in the commentary booth. I hope you joining us wherever you are are locked in and ready for what should be a huge 40 minutes of basketball here. These are two teams at the top of their powers right now. Two teams that want to be crowned champions of Europe. And there's just 40 minutes of basketball between one of them and history. Coach Garnier prowling along the sidelines. Interesting comments from her prior to the final four saying you don't take the Fenerbahce job if you don't like pressure. She has reveled, she has grown into that pressure and enjoying the task that's ahead of her. Let's have a look at some of the head-to-head -head here. The key protagonists that might shape the direction of that trophy. No surprises who we pick. Kayla McBride had 25 points in a semi-final alongside six rebounds. And Kamaya Smalls ended up with 18 points and six rebounds. Phenomenal performances from that backcourt duo. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe here today. As Coach Mezian gets some final instructions across to his team, let's listen into the huddle. Starting fives coming to the floor. They are locked in. You can feel the energy here in the arena. It is set to be an absolute classic between these two. The David and Goliath battle. It's Fenerbahce, the reigning champions, a European powerhouse season after season. They've been to the final so many times in recent years. And at the other end of the floor in the black and red, Ville Neuve de Ask. First time finalist, first time Final Four appearance. And from a French perspective, the first time in 20 years that we have a French team here at the biggest game in European basketball. We are very close to tip off here. If you want to follow any of the stats as the game progresses, make sure you download the EuroLeague Women app, available on Android and iOS, completely free. Get their phones out, download that now. And we're underway, the 2024 EuroLeague Women's Final here in Mersin. As Fenerbahce, our reigning champions, take on our final four rookies, Villeneuve de Ask. Collier against Zealous. Tries to barrel away in, loses her footing, she's all tied up. What's the call? Foul's going to be called on Zealous. Zealous not happy with the call. I think that one's fine. But then it becomes a problem as she's reaching across her body and making the contact. Baseline ball, Fenerbahce. Anderson. Milic will drive to the basket. And that will be the first points of the final. Milic having a big game in that semi-final, absolutely intrinsic. 15 points, 11 rebounds, it's stolen away. Collier fakes the three, drives inside, pulls up short, as is the shot. Long rebound, Milic is there again. Nesseman kicks it out to Collier, explodes, no defense, can't get the little fade away jumper to go. And the boos and the whistles ringing out around the arena. In and out with the first jumper for Diaby. 
Collier. Lane opens up again, leaves Ceylon in her wake. An early four-point lead for Fenerbahce. Smalls now feeds Ceylon. To Zealous. Patience here from Villeneuve Dask. Bounces it out of bounds. It will be a Fenerbahce ball. Milic just a, a little winded with that contact from Zealous. Just hits a right in the midriff. It's going to take the breath out of you for sure. Missam and backdoor cut McBride. Gets the score, that's a tough play by Kayla McBride. She really is an offensive juggernaut, McBride. Able to score in so many different ways. And there's our defensive player of the year, tapping it away, Anderson. Drums ringing out around the arena. Anderson with the quick hands, reaching around and batting it away. Smalls skips it. Diaby, long jumper is good. First points on the board for the French team. Inside Collier, back in Salon, down low. We'll get the roll, and Collier maybe a little too strong for Genel Salon. Baseline drive by Burke. Aggressive move. Foul called. An opportunity of the M1 bonus now for Kennedy Burke. Drive strong to the basket. Kennedy Burke didn't have a huge part to play in that semi final. You don't expect her to go back to back games where she's. A little quiet, expected to have another big game. She brings Villeneuve Dask back to within three. McBride, quick release. Ah, two points, Kayla McBride. She is laser locked in, stolen away. Good hands by Fenerbahce. The blue and yellow pours down the floor. Hands it in to Collier, a full flow, Nafisa Collier. Fenerbahce, seven point lead. Seven minutes left here in this first quarter. Salon, long two. Beautiful shot, Janelle Salon. What a season she has had. The 22-year-old had 15 points and seven rebounds in that semi-final win over Praha. Anderson goes down low, it's sto stolen away. Salon this time reads the passing lane well. Pulls up another long two, Janelle Salon. Feeling it early here in Mercy. Collier to Messerman. Messerman, short corner two. Money in the bank for Emma Messerman. A real brisk pace of basketball we have right now between these two. Burke for three. Kennedy Burke, that is a confident player, just stepping in, contested, but it didn't matter. Wants to get herself rolling, and that's exactly what she's done. Inside, fadeaway jumper, no good for Collier. Two-point ball game as Villeneuve to ask, fight their way back in. Diaby, back into the hands of Smalls, back to Diaby. She'll take the jumper, not this time. Rebound by Anderson. Anderson, coast to coast. Has it stolen, though? Absolutely relentless basketball here in the first five minutes of this final. Zealous for three, it's a four-point play! Javante Zealous. What a shot, look at this. Little step back, created the separation. Nails the three, takes the foul. 
That's two early fouls on Nafisa Collier as well. Will coach Garnier keep her on the floor? It doesn't look like it. Laxa comes to the table to check herself into this game. Zellis gets the bonus. Villeneuve Dask have the lead. They lead by two. Villeneuve Dask have made a change as well as with Soa Mbaka coming into the game as Smalls heads out. McBride feeds it now and it's stolen. Burke this time with the steal. Burke will put the three ball up. That's short. Clicks the iron and away. McBride, patience here at the top. Mieseman, oh, lovely backdoor cut by Milic, and one. That is a team that read each other well. That is a team that are very cohesive. Milic knew to flash to the basket. Mieseman knew she'd be there. Wow, the tone has been set here in the final. Both these teams at the top of their powers. And one completed. That ties the ball game up. In fact, no, Fenerbahce, sorry, take the lead. Salon comes out of the game. Alio comes in for Villeneuve Dask. Zellas brings it up over the half. Oh, tough play, too much momentum for Burke to control. McBride against Alio. A roll for Milic. Stolen away, though, by the French team. Alio goes inside, draws the defence. Lissoa on Baca, in and out. McBride with another rebound. Anderson. Using the pick at the top, dives inside and tries to use the height advantage he has off Alio to get the score, and it works. Fenerbahce out to a three-point lead. Lesoa Mbaka drives inside, comes back out though. Biabi will spill it out of bounds. Badian to come into the game for Fenerbahce as Milic heads to the bench. And as expected, a physical, tough start to this game. Great hands by Kitty Alaxa, just tapping it off the leg of Diaby. Also into the game comes Guy. McBride from outside, and that is money in the bank. A ching for McBride. Six-point lead now for Fenerbahce. Zellers cancels it out with a triple of her own. She is ready for this one. Inside, Badia. Almost draws the foul off Burke, but the fake is enough to create the space. Five-point lead for Fenerbahce. So on Baca. Drives the baseline, and it just opens up an easy two for the Belgian international. Oh, this back and forth basketball, high scoring, free flowing, exactly what this wonderful EuroLeague women's season deserves to close out on. Messerman drop steps, fades away. Oh, Emma Messerman putting a little bit of sauce on top of that one. Elio facing off against Anderson. Shot clock down to 10. The Soa Mbaka, but cuts through, draws the foul. That traveling violation call. Sideline ball, double change here for Fenerbahce as Onar and Uzun come in. Anderson and McBride head to the bench.
And Abache captain Onar now on the ball. Laxa tries to drive the baseline, it's closed off, the double team pinches her. Badiar has to come out, shot clock down to two, Messerman short. Long rebound falls to Alio. And she's going to draw the foul off Uzun. It's a smart foul from Uzun. Just her first foul, but it stopped the transition. She does it in a way where it's not going to be an unsportsmanlike foul as well. Smalls inside, yay, no good. Big rebound deep under the bucket, though, for Smalls. Smalls by name, certainly not by nature. That's off Smalls' leg, though. So they're fortunate to regain possession. Milic will come in for Fenerbahce as Misaman heads to the bench. Smalls trying to weave away to create some space. Shot clock down to four. She'll go straight at the hole. Bow will be called, and Smalls earns a trip to the free throw line. One minute and six seconds left in what has been a blistering first quarter of basketball here in Mersin. The Fenerbahce fans primarily have packed the arena out, and my goodness me, they have brought the noise with them from Istanbul. Smalls hits the first of her two. 77% this season from the free throw line, Kamaya Smalls. Two from two. Onar now to Badian. Milic trying to bully away against Manunga. That's going to be the foul, Manunga. It was the initial contact she re-established in a legal position, but it was the hand early went across and over the top that was the problem. There you go, you see it there, hits the arm, and then she re-establishes it straight up. Milic at the line for two. The first is good. And the second. Five-point lead into the final minute of this first quarter. What a first quarter it's been. Super high scoring, super energy levels from both teams. The Soa Mbaka feeds the roll. He goes inside an air ball, but the foul's going to be called, I think, on Badian. As Amanata Gate forces the issue, driving inside, and again, yeah, that's the right call. The left arm comes down. If Badian had just kept that arm straight up, then that's just near perfect defense. First is good. Misses the second. Rebound pulled down by Milic. Foul will be called on Guy. They've got a foul to give Vilnev Dask, so it's not the end of the world. Again, another easy one for the officials. Oh, in fact, they are in the penalty. My mistake. I don't think they are. I think they've just gone into the penalty. Yeah, they have just gone in. So it will be a baseline ball for Fenerbahce. 35.7 seconds left in the first quarter as the claps ring around the arena. Fenerbahce fans in big numbers and in big voice. Yuzun. Oh, it's through the legs of Badian. That is not where a big wants the ball. You don't want it down by your shoelaces. Knee height or above, please. It's always a tough catch. So on Baca comes out of the game as Ellis come, Zellis comes back in for the final 15 seconds. Alio. 
Hands it off to Zealous. Pretty clear what's going to happen here. Smalls for three. Oh, she banks home the three. The banks are open late here in Mersin for Kamaya Smalls. Unbelievable way to close out the first quarter and a first quarter that will go down in the books as an absolute classic. Wow, 10 minutes of breathtaking, heart pulsing basketball. But 10 minutes are in the book. It's Fenerbahce 28, Vilnev Dask 27. There are some of the stats from the first quarter. Fenerbahce shooting the ball well, well, brilliantly, to be fair, all over the floor. But Vilnev to ask, key stat, four from six from outside. That's perimeter game that has got them in this one. And they attempt a lot of threes in a game, and they shoot a reasonably good percentage, over 31. Let's see if we can head into the huddles and listen to the coaches. Well, there was plenty of hype, such drama leading into this final. Fenerbahce looking for back-to-back -back titles. Vilnev Dask here for the first time. A story had been written in the first 10 minutes is delivered on that story. Let's have a look at the head-to-head -head here. Here are our champions, in fact. You can see Fenerbahce winning their first ever title last season. Collier. Muscled out by Manunga. Pushing foul called. Collier to go to the line for two. Manunga called for her second. Collier misses the first of those two. 88% this season from the free throw line. This is game number nine for Fenerbahce in EuroLeague women's four. Nafisa Collier did a bit of a split shift, started the season and then left and came back later. Alio being harassed as she just about gets it over the half within the eight seconds. Zealous now, traveling violation. She picks up that pivot foot way too early. Ona having a taste of her own medicine as Alio bounces her down the floor. Messerman, shot clock down to seven, opens up, it's kicked out though. Ball movement, McBride, automatic. She'll draw the foul and head to the free throw line for three. Kayla McBride, such a deadly weapon from outside that Vilnev Dask chasing her hard. Let's have a look at the replay. Tough to see the foul there because the camera moved away, but the officials call it. And McBride at the line for three. The first is good. She had 25.6 rebounds, five assists against Chukarova. Already she's stepping in. If she makes all three, she'll be the first player up to double digits on either team. Much talk about could Kayla McBride pick up the finals MVP award this season. She certainly built the first stage of that case in the semi-final and she's now up to double digits here in the final. Obviously, it would probably require more than likely Fenerbahce to come out with a win. Oh, it's a poor pass. Zellers can't hold on to it. Fenerbahce will go straight back at them. Onar inside. Smalls couldn't re-establish before the ball hit her. 
so she would have been out of bounds. Inside to Collier against Manunga, trying to bully her way inside. Smart play, Nafisa Collier. She really has established herself as a powerhouse here in EuroLeague women. Zealous just gets it over the half in time. Smalls for three. Doesn't go. Where's the rebound? Just about into the hands of Manunga. Zealous, three ball. Oh, it's good. Shavonte Zealous is taking this as a personal mission on her shoulders right now. Ten points for her. McBride, back to Missiman. Missiman drives inside, it's stripped away though. Good hand, quick hand by Cariata Diaby. Diaby now going against Messerman, trying to use the strength to get inside, just hands it off to Smalls, and she gets the job finished. Vilnev Dask back within two. McBride fouled on her way through. Both teams making changes, Anderson will come in for Onar. Burke comes back in as Manunga goes to the bench. This is as much a battle between coach Garnier and coach Mezian as anything else. The two coaches going head to head. Alaxa for three. No. Smalls with the rebound. Her third rebound of the game. Zealous to Diaby. Foul's going to be called on Messerman. Used the arm bar, but it didn't stay static. It was a push. Salon will get the score to tie the game. 34 to Fenerbahce, 34 to Vilnev Dask. Collier, oh, lovely little fake handoff. Can't get the bank shot to roll, though. Zealous inside, short two. Doesn't get the angles off the glass. Anderson roaring down the floor. Inside to Collier, she establishes Salon rejects. Great help side defense from Janelle Salon. She read the danger. Another change for Fenerbahce as Laxa goes out, Milic comes in. Alio also comes back into the game. Messerman, a little short gimme jumper for Emma Messerman. Can't afford for her to catch that if you're Villeneuve Dask. Re establishes the Fenerbahce lead. Batted away. Messerman now leading the charge. McBride, no look, back to Messerman. Oh, that is just poetry in motion. Fenerbahce flowing down the floor like a rapid river. Tough to stop when Fenerbahce play basketball that way. Their lead is up to four. Coach Mezian wants to talk things over. It's Fenerbahce 38, Vilnev Dask 34. Six minutes and 13 seconds left in this second quarter. Let's see if we can head into the huddles, listening to the coaches.
That was the last play that pushed Coach Messia into the timeout. Fenerbahce in full flow is a scary prospect. Four point lead for Fenerbahce. Baseline ball for Vilnev Dask. And an absolute electric atmosphere here in Mersin. Alio now back on the floor against Anderson. Burke, backdoor cut by Smalls. It's a tough pass to make, a tough pass to receive. It's smart, and it's the level of basketball you need to win games at this level, but wasn't executed perfectly this time. Collier. Collier is having a game. She really is stepping up in a big way for her team. 11 points now for Nafisa Collier. Salon. Burke wide open. Three ball. It's string music. Kennedy Burke drains the three. And every time Fenerbahce put on a little bit of quality, a little bit of style, and Open up the smallest of leads. There they are, Vilnev Dask. Backdoor cut, McBride couldn't hold the pass, though. That will spark a transition here in numbers for the French team. Smalls waits for the screen. There's the roll. The RB won't get the score, will draw the foul. That one's going to be called on Collier. That's her third. Oh, no, in fact, an offensive foul has been called. My mistake. Let's have a look at the replay. Did she establish? Oh, yeah, 100%. Absolutely 100%. Good defense from Collier. Anderson trying to bully Alio. Not this time. Salon grabs the rebound. Alio splits the defense, glides inside. The finish isn't there. She'll get her own rebound, though. Salon for three. A big triple. Janelle Salon ties the game up. 40 to Fenerbahce, 40 to Villeneuve d'Ask. This time is Coach Garnier. This time it is Fenerbahce. They have to call a timeout to talk things over. Oh, absolutely breathtaking basketball. Here is the triple. Drills it from the wing. Janelle Salon takes her personal tally to ninth. Let's head back into the huddles and hear what the coaches have to say. A little under four and a half minutes left here in the first half as we come out of the Fenerbahce timeout. We are all tied here in the final. 40 to Fenerbahce, 40 to Villeneuve Dask. Anderson to McBride. Messerman now picks it up in the paint and again. That is just automatic distance for Messerman.
Burke. Inside the Abbey. Ah, oh, can't get the finish. All the hard work done. The finish just not there, though. Messerman taking it on herself. Passes weren't available. Oh, that is just strength from Emma Messerman. Barrels the Abbey out the way. Elio. Stolen away, though. Milic picks it up. Head up to Anderson. Collier, free throw line jumper is good, and all of a sudden, Fenerbahce have a six point lead, and Coach Messier has to call a timeout. A seesaw final is what we have a roller coaster of a game so far. Fenerbahce lead this one by six as they came out of the timeout with a hot hand. Collier hitting the jumper. Messian calls a timeout. They need to stop the rock before Fenerbahce pull away. Let's hit, listen to what Coach Messian has to say. Enjoying themselves, most of them wearing the blue and yellow stripes of Fenerbahce, that's true. A very few select Villeneuve Dask fans. Messerman, an eight point quarter for her. Takes her tally up to 12. And Fenerbahce out to a six point lead. Smalls now to Burke. Burke for three. That looks good. It's too heavy though. Collier with the rebound. McBride inside. Messerman will get the and one. Emma Messerman just working away into this game. Starting to take it over. The help defense is too little, too late, and the foul is called. So what Mbaka comes in for Villeneuve Dask as Smalls heads out. Laxa comes in for Fenerbahce as Collier goes to the bench. And the bonus is good. Game high, nine point lead now for Fenerbahce. The crowd are ramping up the pressure. Oh, Burke with the crossover. Oh, hot handle from Kennedy Burke. Messerman turns the corner, kicks it out. McBride for three, not this time, rebound. Batted around, eventually pulled down by Zealous. So on back will draw the foul off Anderson. Easy call for the officials and a smart foul really from Anderson. She's not in foul trouble, neither of the team. Just slows the offense down. Lesoa and Baca. Oh, it's a poor pass, though. It's behind Gee. Milic fouled by Lesoa and Baca. Ends up on the floor. Anderson and Laxa quick to help her up. Milic will go to the line to earn her points. She's that kind of player, though. Happy to go to the line. She's three from three for the evening. Milic from the line. 76% across the season. First is good for Milic.
and the second rattles its way down. A nine-point lead once again for the reigning champions. Burke now pass inside, Zealous with the quick cut to the basket. Beautiful pass from Kennedy Burke. Love that pinpoint precision from Burke. Messerman now pulls up short, gets the jumper to go. She's almost unstoppable, Emma Messerman. She is locking in for a big, big game. 17 points personal already. So on back up for three. Heavy, Salon towers over Laxa for the rebound. Ye for three, too heavy. Easy rebound for McBride. Milic in the low post against Burke. Spins baseline, Milic foul. Good quick footwork from Milic. Kennedy Burke just couldn't quite stay with the spin. That's her second foul. Milic back at the line again. The first is a miss for Milic. a second time though takes her personal tally to 10 but more importantly for Fenerbahce takes their lead to a game high 10 points so on back up featured inside Salon is hit hard by Laxa Kitty Alaxa struggling right now to contain Janelle Salon. Just too strong and powerful for her. My only real option for Laxa is to just stop her from establishing in the first place. Change for Villeneuve Dask as Burt goes to the bench and Manunga comes in. Salon misses the first of her two free throws. What a season Janelle Salon has had. That's the second to go. Ten points for Salon. Alongside four rebounds so far. Final minute of this first half. All stolen away. The pick and roll doesn't work this time. The black and red marauding down the floor. Salon looks to go off the glass. An offensive foul is going to be called, I think, on... Amanata Gay. As she plows into Emma Messerman. Messerman holding her neck. They'll walk the full length of the floor as Messerman will have free throws because Villeneuve Daskar in the penalty. First, no good for Messerman. Five times EuroLeague Women's Champion. There are very few players that can say that. She would join a very short and very elite list if she picks up a title today. Zealous. Kicks it to the corner, Manunga, no good. The jump shot game has deserted Villeneuve Dask right now. First quarter, they lean heavily into the jumper, and it has dried up. Anderson slowing it down, looking to take the last shot. Less than a second differential between the half-court clock and the shot clock. McBride is chased out. Messerman now, there's the mismatch into Anderson for three. Oh! Beautiful play by Fenerbahce to close out the first half. That is Fenerbahce basketball. Selfless. The extra pass. Look how they move the ball. That is team basketball in its purest form. As Anderson 
gives Benabache a 13-point lead at the half. And the Fenerbahce fans are on their feet as the players make their way to the locker room. What a first 20 minutes of basketball here we've had in the final, a fitting end to an amazing season at the half. Fenerbahce 58, Villeneuve Dask 45. some of the stats from the first half to be fair good shooting performances across the board but you just have to look at how many shot opportunities Fenerbahce have taken and look at that 23 assists for their 58 points they've been marauding offensively 58 points and a half is a huge score Messerman leading the way with 18 for Fenerbahce zealous the leading scorer for Villeneuve Dask with 12 
coach, what, what do you expect from the second half? I accept to be harder on defense. We cannot win a game by receiving uh, 58 points. This is not normal. So if we want, if we have one chance to win the game, we have to be harder. We let too much easy things to Fenerbahce, uh, Messman, Collier, they are, they are killing us. Offensively, we did a good job. Even with, we lost 12 balls, we scored 40, uh, 45 points. So I think it's good. But defensively, we have to, to be harder, OK? Uh, we have to, to, to defend hard on the 1-1 one -one action, 1-1 one -one situation. And, uh, you know, control what you have to control. But it's not possible to let too much easy things like this to our opponent. OK, thank you, coach. Good luck. Coach, what do you expect from the second half? To play harder in defense because it's not over 20 minutes more. Okay, good luck, coach. Thank you. Welcome back to Mersin in Turkey. We have 20 minutes left of the EuroLeague women's season. We're at the halfway stage of the final. And what a final we've had so far. Fenerbahce lead this one 58-45 over Phil Dask. A high-scoring, free-flowing, high-tempo game in the first half. Both coaches have come out during the halftime and said, that's the end of the floor that they're worried about. Defensively, they want to do a better job. Defensively, they know they need to pick up the uh, the reaction from their team here in the second half. It hasn't been good enough. Coach Mezian clearly 58 points is a lot to give up in a first half. And from Fenerbahce's perspective, 45 is two. To give you an idea, Fenerbahce usually concede about 67, while Villeneuve Daska below 70 points a game that they concede. So this really is an offense first first half. But we are now ready for the second half. Uh, we are just moments away, under two minutes to go. Both teams now go back to their benches to get some final instructions. But we've already had some huge performances here. Emma Messerman. 18 points, two rebounds, four assists in the first half, leading all scorers for Vilnev Dask. It's Zealous with 12 leading them, but uh, expect a slightly more conservative, shall we say, second half as both teams try and increase the intensity and I imagine the physicality of their defensive efforts. Villeneuve Dask 5 are the first to come back to the floor. Salon 
Smalls, Burke, Zealous, and Diaby. The 5 4 Fenerbahce will be Messerman, Anderson, Milic, Collier, and McBride. Yeah, Messerman had 17 in the entire semi final. She has 18 in the first half. You could just see the switch flick on Emma Messerman, and she came to life and just dominated long phases of that second quarter. Second half action underway here. This is the final of the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours. 20 minutes between one of these teams and the history books. And we're going to start the second half with an air ball that comes straight into the commentary position. And thankfully, I was fully on it and ready to catch it. Otherwise, we might have lost some of the equipment. Anderson now. Patience and... That's key for Fenerbahce, they don't need to rush the game. She comes up short, though, with the jumper. Baseline drive, Smalls, the lane just opens up for her. First score of the second half goes to Vilnev Dask. And Coach Garnier frustrated on the sidelines. She obviously asked for more defensive effort, and that certainly wasn't it. Milic now hands it to Anderson, shot clock to seven. Anderson with the jumper. Yvonne Anderson brings so much to the game. Huge amount of intangibles, but she also does bring the ability to put the points on the board. Celon looking to turn the corner, drives inside, off the glass, tough play. It's a rebound, a foul's going to be called as Genel Celon gets knocked to the floor. Baseline ball for... Vilnev Dask, Messerman called for the foul, her second personal. Zealous to Smalls. Splits the defense with the pass, kicks it out. Shot clock down to four. Zealous pulls up, draws the foul on Messerman. That's her third. Two early fouls here in the second half, and that is a problem for Coach Garnier. She's going to make the change straight away. Badian's going to come in. Messerman's going to head to the bench. Well, the first 90 seconds of this third quarter have gone the way of Vilnev Dask. First is good from the line for Chavante Zealous. 13 points for her now. Make that 14. She only had 11 in the semi-final against Praha. Her season high is 19 on the last game of the regular season against Polkovica. What a time it would be to register your season high score. McBride. Goes inside, too heavy off the glass. Celon with an easy rebound. Her rebound number five. That will remain Villeneuve Dask ball as quick reactions from Coach Garnier. Smalls now inside to Diaby. She can't hold on to it. It will be a Fenerbahce ball. Really was a difficult pass to make. An even difficult pass to actually catch in the end. Oh, Collier ends up on the floor and just drops it out of bounds after running into her own teammate, Badia. Well, coaches will teach you to brush the shoulder of the screener. Collier took a little bit more than a brushing of the shoulder and ended up on the floor. Burke now hands it back to Smalls. Almost stolen away as a tap, so there's a no back court. Shot clock at four, though. Smalls inside, high off the glass. It was always going to be a difficult one under the pressure from Milic. Anderson inside, Badiat. 
comes back out to Collier. Oh, that is just selfless basketball. It's that extra pass that makes all the difference in those situations. Not jumping at the first half opportunity, but working the ball for a better one. Salon now. Contested two, no good. The RB reaches up. Oh, that's a big rebound and a bully ball to the basket, but Collier stands strong. Anderson keeps it. Badia, a little shallow. Frenetic pace to this third quarter, but the quality isn't quite there offensively as the defense steps up. Burke in the corner, the three will go up, but that's short. Salon again goes strong inside, and the score. Janelle Salon flexes on her way back down the court. Foul's going to be called on Salon. Her first foul of the game and the first foul of the quarter for Villeneuve Dask. McBride now. Trying to use the Badian screen, it's not there, and Villeneuve Dask's defense is certainly more intense this half. Shot clock's running out, McBride gets it away, but it was always a bit of a heave. Burke now facing off against Badian. Off the foot, off Badian, so sideline ball for Villeneuve Dask. Shot clock's at 15, so no reset on that. Smalls, long two. It's an air ball, though. She pulled at it. You could see it wasn't what she wanted to take. Regretted it as soon as it left her hand. Collier now driving inside, running right hand, batted away. Kennedy Burke reads the play beautifully. Burke for three. No. Anderson with the rebound as Milic wrestles with Diaby under the screen. Fenerbahce fans are loud in the arena. Collier going again. Foul's going to be called on Burke. She tries to swat it away. Collier will go to the line for free throws. Villeneuve Dask with the change as Smalls comes out and Alio comes in. There's the foul from Burke. Third foul of the game on Kennedy Burke. Coach Mezian not taking her out just yet. It's a brave move by the coach. 15 minutes of basketball to play in what is a physical encounter against a very strong front court. Certainly doesn't want Burke to pick up her fourth foul. Collier goes two from two from the free throw line. Collier now up to 15 points alongside three assists. Salon. Feeds the low post. Diaby draws the double team. Oh, that is a tough play, but doesn't go. Kennedy Burke. Unbelievable effort and hustle from Kennedy Burke this time. Brings Villeneuve Dask back within 11. Fenerbahce just doing enough to hold the French team at arm's length. Collier now, strong, quick first step. Ah, oh, Salon just didn't react quick enough. Maybe a little fatigued. Interesting to see if Coach Mezian rotates out. Salon, sidestep, jumper, no good. Milic with the one-handed rip-down rebound. Ball inside, Collier gets tied up, foul called. Coach Mezian will make the change. 
Gay comes in, Diaby comes out. Lesoa and Baca is going to come in as we see the uh, foul under the bucket. Lesoa and Baca comes in for Salon. She was looking a little tired. Baseline ball for Fenerbahce. Milic now out to Anderson. To McBride, corner three. It's in, but it won't count. Offensive foul is called. That one on Milic, her first foul of the game. Burke now looking to find Gay in the low post. She tries to dump it inside, but it's a good read by Badia. Stolen back, is it? No. Anderson holds on to it. Inside of Collier. Offensive foul called on Nafisa Collier. She got all tied up with Zealous. And the officials calling that one that she was the one causing the contact. There's the good play by Badia. And there's the feet to the low post. Yeah, it's Collier doing all the work to create the contact. I think that's a good call from the officials. Collier comes out of the game. That's her third foul as well. Coach Garnier with some early foul trouble to deal with here. The Soa Mbaka. Comes back out, almost stolen away, it is stolen away. Good defense by Fenerbahce again. Both these teams have certainly increased their defensive intensity here in the second half. It's what both coaches were calling for. McBride turns the corner, on the roll, Milic, one hand on the right, beautiful. Great execution of the PR. Zealous jumper. Oh, it's a big three. Shavonte Zealous takes a little bit of the air out of the arena. And so on back up. All over McBride. Laxa now into Milic. Milic spins baseline. What's the call? An offensive foul is called on Milic. She waves her hand at the ref. That's going to cost her a technical foul as well. That is not smart by Milic. That moves her to three fouls now as well. There'll be a technical free throw awarded here. Fenerbahce in the penalty as well. Milic, Misaman and Collier all on three fouls right now. Coach Garnier with big problems in her front court. Kennedy Burke can't get the technical free throw to drop though. Not sure why they sent Kennedy Burke to the line to be fair, she's one of their Poorer free throw shooters this season. Elio now being guarded by Anderson. Shot clock, plenty of time. Zealous uses the gay screen. We'll shoot the three, it's a tough looking three, it's a shallow three and it's a rebound for McBride. Pass inside to Milic, beautiful vision by Kayla McBride. Splits the defense with the pinpoint pass. And so on backer, baseline opens up, she'll take that one. Doesn't need two invites. Lack of communication for Fenerbahce defensively there. However, they still hold a 12-point lead here with under two minutes left in the third quarter. Anderson will draw the foul off Gay. 
Shot clock was down to 2.3 seconds as well, and that's a real mistake by the 21-year-old. Exuberance of youth, maybe. Zealous comes out, though, for Vilnev Dask as Smalls comes back in. Milic dumps it into Badian. Badian against Gay. Gets the score. Gay on four fouls. She knows she can't overplay defensively. Yabi's yeah, going to come back in and replace her, I think. Smalls inside, draws the foul, can't get the score. Gets levered off the baseline. Now coach Mezian can make his change as Gay comes out. Back into the action comes Kariata Diaby. There's the foul. Credit to Laxa. She made sure that Smalls was never going to have a chance of a three-point play. Instead, she'll have to earn her points from the charity strike. And the first is no good. Some problems here for Vilnev Dask from the free throw land, starting to mount. That's eight from 12 on the evening. That's the second to go. Laxa has it ripped away by Smalls. Rebound pulled down by Diaby. A real shoulder shake twice there from Smalls. Foul's going to be called on Milic, and that is foul number four on Milic. That's a problem for Coach Garnier. She's going to have to make the change. She's going to leave her on the floor. It's a bold move by Garnier. No, she's not. She's going to bring Collier back in. Collier herself's on three, though. Smalls hits the free throw. And the second is good as well. Milic will come out. Collier comes back in. Important final minute of this third quarter. Collier crossover, drives at the basket, strong, draws the foul, Nafisa Collier and one. Big play in a big moment in this game. Vilnev de Ask just starting to battle their way back in, to fight their way back in, and that's a tough, tough play. Composure from Collier. Completes the three-point play. 14-point lead now for Fenerbahce. Just 40 seconds remain in the third quarter. Oh, the pass is poor. It really was from Manunga. The RB was not established at all. She was off balance, falling away from the basket. Collier going to work again, hands it to Anderson. Alio lost to Mark, but she's... Got away with it, but Fenerbahce get another rebound. Pass inside, Badian picks up the dribble inside to Collier. Fades away for two, Nafisa Collier. She's come to life in the last minute. Alio from inside her own half, won't get it to drop. A big third quarter for Fenerbahce as they take a big step towards going back-to-back -back here in EuroLeague Women's. What a game we are having here in Mersin. Fenerbahce lead this one by 16. It's Fenerbahce 77, Vilnev Dask 61. There are the stats so far. 
You can see Fenerbahce hardly taking any perimeter shots whatsoever. They're wanting to get to the basket. That's where they want to do their damage. And it is working. The last couple of plays, Nafisa Collier stepping up in a big way. 22 points for Collier so far. Nine from 15 from the field for her. However, she is on three fouls. Milic is on four. Messerman is on three. Let's have a look at this graphic as the Fenerbahce fans are going wild here. There we go. If Nisman can win today, she joins some very illustrious company indeed. No one has won more than six. She truly will engrave her name into the history books as one of the true all-time greats to ever play in EuroLeague women. Both teams back on the floor, ready to go. There's still quite a few seconds left on the quarter break, but both clearly want to get this going. They really do want to push on, keep the energy, keep the flow of the game. It's going to take a big effort now from Vilnev Das to overcome a 16-point deficit with just 10 minutes to play. 10 minutes left in the EuroLeague women's season. Fenerbahce almost have one hand on the trophy right now. Collier, spin move, strong, and gets it to roll. Nafisa Collier is absolutely leading this Fenerbahce team right now. Throwing herself into the finals MVP conversation. Salon. Pulls up, long two, rejected. Great defense by Badiat. Pass to Collier, Collier left open, Anderson will shoot the three, it's off left. Badian going to be called for the foul as she throws Salon to the floor. Second foul of the game for Badian. Alio now. Feeds Diaby back in the low post, but has to come out. Smalls into Diaby. Going to work against Badian. Oh, lovely footwork. Gets the roll. Beautiful play by Kaliata Diaby. Collier now inside. Someone's got to stop her, and that's not the way. And one, Nafisa Collier. Smalls just unable to contain the size, power, and athleticism of Collier right now. Collier lighting things up. She had a strong last minute or two of the third quarter, and she's picked up where she left off here in the fourth. Out of the game comes Lesoa Umbaka. As Kennedy Burke comes back in and coach Mezia is throwing everything he has now at the game to try and bring his team back into it. Burke, strong, direct, aggressive, but it's stripped away. Good quick hands by Badia. Messerman against Diaby, goes the baseline. Emma Messerman steps out of bounds. Turnover ball. Timeout has been called by coach Mezia. Let's have a look at the replay here. Oh yeah, just about the side of the sneaker, just catching the line. Eight minutes and 22 seconds left in this final. Fenerbahce certainly in the driver's seat. They lead this one 82 to 63. Timeout has been called here in Mersin as coach Mezian needs to talk it over.
quick timeout from Villeneuve Dask. They're back on the floor already. I think it was probably a rallying cry from Coach Mezia. Give me everything you've got. It's do or die right now. They trail by 19 against the reigning EuroLeague women champions. The crowd are on their feet right now here in the arena. What an atmosphere we have. What a fitting way to see off this season, which has been amazing. Three ball wing. Oh, it's an air ball, though, from Smalls. Just nothing going the way of Villeneuve Dask in the last four or five minutes of this game. Messerman, short corner two is good. Emma Messerman looks like she may have just flicked that switch again and she's ready to take the game over if need be. Kennedy Burke drives in against Badiam. Foul will be called. Foul number three on Badiam. Second team foul of the quarter for Fenerbahce. Burke heading to the free throw line. The first is good for Burke. 14 points, four rebounds for Kennedy Burke. Can't get the second to go, and Anderson dives in to try and help with the rebound. It's held in bounds as Villeneuve Dask get hold of it, but it's a backcourt violation. As Zealous's foot must have just caught the line. Let's have a look at the replay. What's the call? Maybe it was a five second violation. McBride, no good this time. Long rebound, batted up into the air by Messerman. McBride, another catch and shoot. Three, Kayla McBride. Quick fire, McBride. Burke now, one on one against McBride. Drives inside, goes to the left hand. Not there, though. Rebound pulled down, and one. No, she'll have to earn a point at the line. The RB hitting the glass hard. Great work on the O glass by Kariata to the RB. Here's the three from McBride. Just goes into autopilot with that shot. Gets them to drop. 21 lead, 21 point lead though for Fenerbahce. Under seven minutes to play. It's a huge task now ahead of Villeneuve Dask. The fans are sensing that there's a back to back title coming their way right now. Collier drives strong and hard at the basket. Foul's going to be called on Zealous. Collier at the line for two. What a game Nafisa Collier has had. Gets the first to drop, takes her tally out to 28 points now, Collier. Previous high was 23, and that was all the way back at game day two against Asvel. Two from two from the line at this trip. 29 points for Nafisa Collier. The Soa and Backer. Into the hands of Zeller. Shot clock at seven. She backs it out. Pulls a trigger on a three. No good. Too heavy. Villeneuve Dask get the rebound though, and they'll go again. Zealous will pick it up again. The Soa and Backer from the corner. Not this time. Oh, a pundle on the floor as Messerman ends up there.
Collier now, step back, fade away. Don't need to tell you what happens. Everything Collier is doing right now is ending up with the ball in the bucket. She is lights out in a zone. Oh, rejection, Messerman meets the Soa and backer. Time management now called from coach Garnier. They're going to run as much of the clock down as they can, I imagine. Collier trying to find McBride. Shot clock at six, an offensive foul is going to be called on Kayla McBride. She dusts herself down and gets up her second foul, fourth team foul of the quarter. Bit of sweat on the floor needs mopping up before we get going again. Coach Mezian looking on, coach of the year, rightfully so. Amazing things that him and his team have achieved this year, but it looks like they might be just one step short of that historic first European crown. Salon, too heavy, rebound. Eventually into the hands of Collier, she'll run the lanes. McBride, oh, almost hits an unbelievable three. Anderson will slow it down. Anderson kicks it out to Messerman. Messerman drives inside, elbow jumper, no good. As Fenerbahce run every last ounce of the shot clock off. Zealous, shot clock at seven, stolen away, good defense. Collier now out, coast to coast, here we go, big foul, Salone. Not going to give her easy points, going to make her earn those points. Great defense by Badia again, coming in and done a really good job for Coach Garnier and Fenerbahce. They've had foul trouble in the front court, and Badia has played probably bigger minutes than... Coach Garnier had planned, but she's really stepped into that role in a, in a big way. Collier, the first is good. 32 points for Nafisa Collier. Make that 33 points for Nafisa Collier. These are unbelievable statistics that she's putting on the floor right now. Down low, Burke, strong. Baddy call for the foul, reaching over the top. Burke cannot get the free throw to drop. Back at the line for the second. No good with either. Collier with another rebound. Rebound number seven for her. Good defense, though, by Salone. She'll go all the way, and it's stolen away. Here we are again, Badian with the good hands. McBride won't get the finish, will draw the foul off Lesoa Umbaka. <laughs> McBride at the line for free throws. The first is good. And the second.
Three minutes and 46 seconds remaining. Fenerbahce have been an offensive juggernaut this evening. 95 points already. Inside. An easy finish in the end for Amanata Gay. Anderson controlling the game as she often does. And he out. Gets it back to Anderson. Messerman down low. Fades away along the baseline. Emma Messerman. Messerman takes her personal tally up to 22 now. Step back, Kennedy Burke. Just not gone her way today. McBride rips the ball away from Lasoa Mbaka. McBride, 15 points, seven rebounds, seven assists. What a stat line again for Kayla McBride. Foul's going to be called. Double change coming for Fenerbahce as Onar and Yuzun will come in for Anderson. And I think it's for McBride as well. We're also going to see Senyarek, I think, enter the game for the first time. We are as Badian comes out. Coach Garnier clearly feels job done here right now. Time to give everyone minutes. There's smiles all over the Fenerbahce bench. The lights are out here in the arena. The fans have got their mobile phones out. Building the atmosphere that they provided throughout the final fours. It's been unbelievable. McBride gets them to drop. And that will be her checking out of the game to a huge amount of applause from the fans. Yuzun comes in. As Kayla McBride lifts Coach Garnier. Alio now hands it to Lesowa Mbaka. Lesowa Mbaka attacks the basket into the corner. Burke for three. And she hits a big jump shot. Kennedy Burke. 17 points now for Burke. Ona hands it to Yuzun. Lesowa Mbaka, though, strips it away and will get the score. Always tough for players like Onar and Yuzun, who haven't been on the floor hardly at all, and then dropped in against players that are fully in the flow, warmed up, ready to go. Yuzun almost has it stolen away again. Shot clock down to six. Onar. Senor at corner. Not this time. Messerman with an offensive rebound, though. Fourth rebound of the game for Messerman. Yuzun hits a three. And that takes Fenerbahce above the 100. They lead 102 to 73 in what's turned out to be a dominating, rampaging way to the EuroLeague women's title for a second year in a row. Sakhalir is going to come into the game as well. Her first taste of the action today. She's only played 15 minutes all season. She deserves some time on the floor, as does Lekovic. The 20-year-old comes onto the floor as well. As Fenerbahce are starting the party early here in Mersin. Drives inside. That will be... No travel call, kept the dribble alive. Technical foul has been called on Zealous. She needs to be careful, she's about to get thrown out the game. She's frustrated that no call was made. And that's a technical foul on coach Mezian. This isn't a great way for Villeneuve Das to close out their campaign. I understand their frustrations though. Onar at the line for what will be two technical free throws now.
Officials just sorting this out right now as Zawi, Amanda Zawi is in the crowd courtside, just throwing love hearts to the bench, and in particular, Kayla McBride. That takes it out to a 31-point lead for Fenerbahce. Baseline ball as well for Fenerbahce. Onar now backs it out. Senor sets the screen. Gets it back. Three ball goes up. Comes up short. Uzun grabs the rebound and bats it into the hands of Lekovic. Batted out of bounds by Kennedy Burke. Three seconds left on the shot clock, 43.2 seconds left. You can see that's the heart from Kayla McBride. She was sending that across the court to Amanda Zowie, her teammate two seasons ago when they lost the final in Istanbul. That one saved her Onar. <laughs> Onar saying, shoot the ball. Take your moment to shine. Lekovic passes it inside. Senjurek will go and get the points. Tilbe Senjurek. About a second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Surely they'll run this one out. They will. Alio and Onar clap hands, and we can get the party started here in Mersin. Fenerbahce have done it. Back to back titles. Back-to-back -back EuroLeague women titles, Fenerbahce have done it. A huge achievement for a huge club. The party on the floor, the players are jubilant. The fans are on their feet in the stands. The word dynasty gets banded about often, but is this the start of a Fenerbahce dynasty in EuroLeague women's? They are the champions of Europe. And they have been phenomenal all season. What a game for Fenerbahce. Deserved European champions. The players celebrating on the court. Jubilation on the faces of the players in yellow. And the crowd are on their feet and bouncing. The arena is bouncing. Here's your percentages from the game. Fenerbahce, a controlled performance, a team performance, 40 assists in the game. Unreal, really. Top scorer, Nafisa Collier with 33. Shavonte Zellis and Kennedy Burke both had 17 for Villeneuve Dask. Coach Garnier talked about pressure before the tournament. She talked about how you either want it or you don't. And this Fenerbahce team have dealt with the pressure unbelievably well. They've stepped up and they have performed on the biggest stage again this year. They had a target on their back all season. They were the team to beat and they reveled in that. It didn't crack them. It didn't. It wasn't too much for them. It actually made them a better team. It made them focus and lock in for every game. The Fenerbahce flag being waved on the floor now. And as the management, the players and the coaches enjoy themselves. Celebration will go long, long into the night. The Turkish flag as well being waved here in Mersin. What a game, what a performance from Fenerbahce. Deserved European champions. And they will enjoy this night, maybe even more so than the first one, who knows? It's certainly different, but doing it in Turkey, 
on home soil surely is something special for Fenerbahce. Must be a special, special moment as some of the young fans enjoying themselves under the flag as well. A special moment that will link, live long in the memory of these players. Yvonne Anderson, Kayla McBride embracing a huge achievement for both of those. McBride, obviously, one of the only players, well, the only player in the roster to have experienced that heartbreak two years ago on their home floor in Istanbul, losing the shop run in the final. They had redemption last year, picking up the win. And now they are building a dynasty of European basketball. They really are. It's great to see. It's wonderful to witness. Fenerbahce fans are truly enjoying themselves. The players will uh, be asked to leave the court shortly whilst the build for the presentations is completed. The stage currently being constructed while the fans look on and they will hang around to celebrate this moment with the team, that's for sure. Coach Mezian just walking in front of me, a dejected look. and It's difficult at this moment for that Villeneuve Dask team to understand how good their season's been, how much they've achieved, the, the barriers that they've broken through to get here, but they have. They really, really have. And now it's how they build, how they go to the next level, how do they return next season. It really does come down to that for Villeneuve Dask. Can they bring together a team that can compete again next year and get themselves back to the final four? I'm sure all the uh, French fans right now would love to see a French team back here again. I'm sure they certainly don't want to wait another 20 years. What would you like to say about the game? We are, we are too far. We are too far. Um, if you compare our level today against, uh, against Fenerbahce, they are, they are stronger than us. They play a better basketball today. So, yeah, they deserve uh, their win. And we have to, we have to learn. We have to learn for be a better team uh, next year. Okay, coach. Thank you. Coach Mezian, as always, absolutely gracious and humble. He really is a, a wonderful example of a head coach. He really, really is. As the players now making their way off the floor, so uh, we can get ready for the medal presentations. They will shortly be underway and we'll obviously have the presentation of the second place medals to Vilnev Dask. Then we will have the winner's medals presented to Fenerbahce before the MVP award for the final four. And then obviously the big moment, the trophy lift. Let's uh, listen from Kayla McBride. Kayla, congrats, you win the cup. How do you feel? What would you like to say? <laughs> it's amazing, you know? Um... You know, it's just this moment we get to hold the trophy, but it's all the times we come to practice, the hard games, the long nights, the traveling. Uh, we're really a family. These are my sisters. So to be able to win this cup back to back for Fenerbahce, it's amazing, you know? So I'm super proud of the group. Our fans were amazing again, and now we celebrate. You, you are the MVP. What would you like to say about for your performance? Oh, I mean, just whatever it takes, you know? It, it's really hard all season long. Everybody's tired. Uh, but, you know, we pushed through. I can't do anything without my teammates. It's a group effort. V played amazing today. She really carried us. Emma had an amazing first half. So, you know, it's a collective effort. It's all of us. We all get to hold the trophy together. I'm just part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats again. The fans are going nowhere here in Mercy. The Fenerbahce fans are on their feet waiting to see their heroes, waiting to see the champions of Europe come back to the floor to receive their medals and to lift that trophy high. The joy they will take from that moment will be huge. 
Many of them were there last year when Fenerbahce secured this title, secured this trophy for the first time ever. Congress, you won the cup. What would you like to say? What do I have to say? This has been an amazing experience. Uh, the fans have been so good. It was just, it feels great to win my first year league championship. What, uh, what would you uh, like to say about your performance? How about what? Uh, what would you like to say about your performance? I couldn't do it without my teammates. I mean, this is the best team in Europe. We just won, but seriously, they're so great, and uh, I give all credit to them. Okay, thank you. Congrats again. Thank you. Nathisia Collier putting in a huge performance here this evening. She ends up with an unbelievable stat line, 33 points, eight rebounds, four assists, and a steal. Three other players in double digits for Fenerbahce. They are. Emma Messman with 22 points, five rebounds, six assists. Kayla McBride, 17 points, seven rebounds, seven assists. And Nikolina Milic with 16 points, four rebounds and three steals. A big performance all round for Fenerbahce. A truly amazing performance for them. A real team effort to secure their second ever Euroleague women's title. They go back to back. It was what was being talked about the moment they won their first, really. The moment they lifted the trophy for their first title, people were saying, OK, one is good, but do you have what it takes to go again? Do you have what it takes to come back, change the roster if need be, and still be at that same level? There's been a huge number of changes for the quality of basketball and the level of basketball that Fenerbahce put on the floor is uh, clearly right now the best in Europe. Here are some of the highlights from the latter stages of this game and Villeneuve Dask should hold their heads high. They put in a big performance, but Fenerbahce were just really just too strong, too powerful, too impactful and too deep in the talent that they have in that roster to be able to stop them was uh, a, an ask too far, really. We are getting close to the medal presentation now as we see some of the highlights. Messerman going to work in the low post and she joins a very elite list, a very small list of players with six EuroLeague women's titles now. Unbelievable, really, when you think about it. Six EuroLeague women's titles for Emma Messerman. And let's be honest, she is nowhere near done. 30 years of age, EuroLeague women is uh, something that she is wholeheartedly committed to. Picked up the MVP award yesterday at the beautiful awards ceremony at the Opera House here in Mersin. And uh, I am sure she will be back. I'm sure she wants to stand at the top of that table on her own as the only player with seven EuroLeague women titles. But we'll have to wait another year for now. She's tied the record this year, as we see an embrace there between Coach Garnier and Coach Mezian, the two French coaches mastermind behind this Final Four final. And there were the players enjoying themselves on the floor just after winning the EuroLeague women's title. We saw the Turkish flag and the Fenerbahce flag proudly waved on the court. It'd be interesting to speak to the players to see, does it make it extra special winning a title, winning this EuroLeague women's crown on home soil here in Mersin in Turkey. As you can see, the stage is built. Just a few little cables to be connected and we'll be ready for the medal presentation and ultimately the trophy presentation as well. Our panel of dignitaries are just in front of my commentary position. They are ready to receive the players. The good and great of both FIBA, Turkish basketball, and the local area here in Mersin. And while we have a moment, I certainly 
want to give my heartfelt thanks to Mersin. It's an amazing city, a wonderful place, and an unbelievable host. They really have been phenomenal. They provided us with a, a beautiful setting for this year's Final Fours. Um, they really have done everything that they possibly could to make it as amazing as it has been. So a huge thank you to everyone here at Chukarova Basketball Mersin, but also the wider city as well. We have felt welcome to every turn, and it has been an amazing experience for uh, all the players, coaches, and everyone associated with FIBA as well. players right now if you want to know are, are back in their locker rooms just having a, a quick debrief before the presentation ceremony they'll be coming back out of the tunnel shortly to receive their medals and to make their way up onto the podium Every single Fenerbahce fan has pretty much stayed either in their seat or made their way down to courtside. I'm absolutely mobbed here on the baseline. As Fenerbahce fans want to get as close as possible to their heroes, as close as possible to the European champions as they can. First of all, obviously, have the presentation to our runners-up. And they will receive their runners-up medals from Kamil Novak, the FIBA Executive Director of Europe, and Omar Anan, the Vice President of the Turkish Basketball Federation. There's your FIBA Europe President, Jorge Gabajosa. He'll uh, have the honour of presenting the trophy to Alpriona shortly. Coming to the floor now are Vilnev Dask to receive their medals. And a heartfelt thanks and love goes to them for everything they've given this season. They really have been the fairy tale story. There wasn't quite the uh, happy ever after ending that they were looking for. But still, my goodness me, what a season they have given us. And surely that is a foundation for them to go even further, go bigger and better next year and just really lock in for their second run at it. First time ever at a Final Four, first time in over 20 years we've seen a French team. There they are, they really are a family under coach Mezian as well. It's been beautiful to see the bond that this team has together. They really do have such a special close bond. Villeneuve Dask, your EuroLeague Women 2024 runners-up. Take a bow and thank you for everything you've given. You have delivered some unbelievable moments this season. You really have a wonderful group of players, a wonderful team under an amazing coach. I'm already excited to see what Villeneuve Dask bring us next season. This will surely have just motivated them to be back here. And who knows, maybe they'll go even further, one step further, and pick up their first ever EuroLeague Women crowns. A huge round of applause for this French team. A huge performance from them. A wonderful season from them. It really has been. For the neutrals, they were the team that most people were cheering for. And they will now head off the podium make space for 
are European champions. As they come down, every single one of them has put in a big season. They deserve all of the plaudits that they've been getting and more after this final four. They really do. Tears on the eyes of some of the players. They were so close. They'll be disappointed in the moment, but when they get to reflect back on what they've achieved this season, they should hold their heads high and be very, very proud indeed. We'll now have our presentation party for our champions, and that is Carmen Takala, the FIBA Europe Vice President, Ali Hamza Levin, the Governor of Mersin, and Vahap Sajur, the Mayor of Mersin Metropolitan Municipality. And we'll now welcome our European champions to the floor, a moment that will live in their memories forever. These are the moments that you think about for years to come. These are the moments that these players put in the hours, the sweat, the blood, the tears, the emotions. They come to receive their winner's medals. Uzun has played her part in today's game for sure, as she has across the season. Gold medals around the neck. The captain, Alpriona. The reigning regular season MVP, Emma Messerman. Big, big game for her. Yvonne Anderson, our defensive player of the year, stepping up as well. Badia stepped in in a big way today. Kayla McBride now. A huge final four for her. Fisa Collier stepping in as well now. She'll get a gold medal, a very well-deserved gold medal. And finally, Coach Garnier, a huge smile on her face, a real personality, a wonderful character of European basketball. A real student of the game, has delivered what Fenerbahce dreamed of at the start of the season, a European championship. There are your European champions standing high, standing proud on the podium. Nothing but smiles on their faces and understandably so. The Fenerbahce fans are here in their thousands to support them in this big moment. But Fenerbahce are your EuroLeague Women 2024 champions. A wonderful moment. We'll now have the finals MVP award. And this will be presented by Kamil Novak, the FIBA Executive Director Europe. He comes to the floor. Who it will be wasn't decided until right at the last moments. And remember, this is the Final Four's MVP. It's not just the MVP of today's game, it's the player that's had the biggest impact across the Final Four. And Kayla McBride has been awarded the Final Four's MVP. Absolutely warranted. What a final four Kayla McBride has had. 25 points against Chukarova. 17 points, seven rebounds, seven assists here in the final. That is a huge, huge pair of games that's helped push her team to the title. Kayla McBride is the EuroLeague 2024 MV Final Four's MVP. Just one thing remaining. Maybe the biggest thing of all, and that is the trophy presentation. Oh, Nafisia Collier's little and on the stage, maybe a little bit too much for her. Rest of the staff, the so important staff, come onto the podium as well. The unsung heroes at times for basketball programs like Fenerbahce. The players and the head coach get a lot of the limelight, but without all of that staff, 
to support such a huge organization that delivers European champions. Huge smiles all round as the gold medals glisten. Yvonne Anderson getting on her socials, making sure she records every last second of it. We'll now have the trophy presentation, which will be presented by Jorge Gabajosa, the FIBA Europe president. And it will be Alperi Onar, the Fenerbahce captain who gets to lift the trophy. Here we go, from one side to the other, and she lifts it high to the ceiling. The confetti cannons light up the arena. We have our 2024 EuroLeague women champions. They are Fenerbahce. What a moment. The first ever back-to-back -back EuroLeague women champions from Turkey. A huge moment for this Turkish team as the glitter, the confetti, rains down on the floor, celebrating their huge season, their historic season, the monumental achievement of winning back-to-back -back European titles. My goodness me, a celebration fit for an amazing season to bring the curtain down on this awesome EuroLeague women's season. And our 2024 EuroLeague women champions are Fenerbahce. They have looked imperious throughout the season, from the opening tip on the opening game day all the way through to the closing seconds of the final. And now they will take as many photos as they possibly can to Really remember this moment. What a performance. What an amazing team. A thoroughly deserved title. There's the trophy that they've been fighting all season for. And they are now European champions. What a game we've had here in Mersin. What a final fours we've had here in Mersin. All four teams putting in huge, heroic, Herculean performances. But it's Fenerbahce that lift the trophy. It's Fenerbahce that stand on the podium with the winner's medals around their necks. It's Fenerbahce that are back-to-back -back EuroLeague women champions. The crowd are still here. They're going nowhere. They want to celebrate with the players as much as they possibly can. But it's time for me to leave you with the celebrations. Thank you so much for joining me across the Final Fours and across the whole season. I'm already excited for next season. I hope you are too. Our final score here in Mersin in the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final. Is it Fenerbahce 106, Vilnev Dask 73. Fenerbahce Algos holding are your 2024 EuroLeague Women Champions.